Hello, Mr. Barton here, back with another GCSE question of the week. You know how this works by now. I pick you out a tricky question, you have a go at it, and then we try and talk through it together in this video. So, a lovely question for you today, kindly provided by Edexcel for my diagnostic questions website, and it's on transformations of functions. Now, this is a topic that's always been on the higher tier GCSE. Um, if anything, it's got a little bit easier um, on the new spec GCSE because they're not allowed to ask you um, some of the stretches that they were allowed to ask you previously, but they certainly are still allowed to ask you nasty little questions like this. So let's take a look at it. The graph of y equals f of x has a point p with coordinates 3, 4. If the graph is transformed to y equals f of and then a minus x in brackets, what are the new coordinates of point p? Okay, now anytime I get a question like this, it'll be no surprise to loyal fans that I like to draw myself a little diagram. So, certainly the case whenever it comes to any graph related or coordinate, uh, coordinate related things, because it just makes life a lot easier. So, if I uh, draw myself a set of axes, a bit ropey there, but you'll forgive me, and I mark on the point P, let's treat ourselves to a bit of yellow for this, so it's at 3, 4, so let's mark it there, 3, 4. And the question is, what happens to point P when it undergoes this transformation? Y equals F, I mean, I do dodgy Fs, but we'll be all right, to the minus X. Now, what does that do? Now, I'm going to be entirely honest with you. At some stage, you're going to have to get your head down and learn what each of these different transformations does. So if you have a minus inside the brackets, F to the minus X, that's actually going to be a reflection. Reflection. So that's the first key thing to learn. It's going to be a reflection. But what axis is it going to be a reflection in? Well, if it's inside the brackets, it's reflection this way. It's reflection in the y axis. It flips it to the other side of the y axis. Okay. So if it used to be at 3, 4, it's going to go across here with my y axis being my line of symmetry. And what's the new equation of that point? Because you could get all that bit right, but still mess this bit up. Well, what stayed the same? Well, the height has stayed the same. So the y value stayed the same. So that must be four. What's happened to the x value? Well, that's become negative. So it's minus three, four. Is that one of our options? Phew, yes it is, minus three, four. But wait a minute, before you think you're getting away scot-free here, just getting into this, where do each of these wrong answers come from? Well, best way to do this is to mark each of these on. 3 minus 4. So that would be down here. What would lead you to say that the answer was 3 minus 4? Well, that to me looks like it is still a reflection, but this time it's a reflection in the x-axis. It's one of these reflections. And whenever you reflect something in the x-axis, you're going to go for y equals minus f of x. God, that's the worst f I've ever written in my life. So there's that one. What about this one? Let's treat ourselves to a bit of orange for this. Minus 3, minus 4. Well, that's kind of down here. Now, where the flipping x that going to come from? Well, that to me looks like it's either been maybe rotated right the way around that, or maybe even some kind of reflection in a diagonal line. But the bottom line is, it's certainly not one of the transformations we need to worry about. But I can see why students have gone for it, right? Because they've thought, okay, minus x there. Let's just make each of our points minus. So it used to be positive 3 and positive 4. Let's make it minus 3 and minus 4. So watch out for that little mistake. And finally, what about that one? 4, 3. Where would 4, 3 come from? Well, 4, 3 is 4 along the x and 3 there. So it's down there. Now, how would you get to 4, 3? Well, I think 4, 3 is maybe a reflection in the line y equals x. The x and the y's have swapped around. The 3 has become a 4 and the 4 has become a 3. But once again, that's not a transformation we need to worry about um, for, for GCSE. But again, I can see why students have done it. Minus x, they've got in the head, maybe it's a reflection. Let's just swap the coordinates around. Okay, so that is your kind of quick guide to answering this particular question. Um, normally at the end of a video, I like to set you the challenge of trying to figure out um, an alternate wrong answer that you might include. But how about a little twist for today? I wonder if you can take this question and take the original point three, four, and say that's on y equals f of x. But this time, I wonder, could you tell me where, y, where the point three, four goes if your transformation is this, minus f of minus x? <sighs> Where's 3, 4 going to go there? And I wonder, 
there's two types of reflection going on there. I wonder, does it matter if you do the one inside the brackets first, followed by the one outside the bracket, or if you do the one outside the bracket first, followed by the one inside the bracket? Have a little mess around that, mess around with that. It will really help improve your understanding of reflections. Anyway, hope that was useful. If you need any further help, you know what to do by now. Hop onto mrbartmaths.com. There's loads of videos and all that kind of stuff. And try the rest of this quiz out on diagnostic questions. It is a classic. And I'll see you for another question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.